Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about players on the PlayStation getting a weird and interesting message in GTA Online, why it's kind of bad news and something honestly I've never seen before, and a little bit more that's happening right now in GTA Online. So if you're on the PlayStation, I'm assuming if it's PS3, PS4, or PS5, when you log in, you'll get this weird notification. Temporary issues inviting or playing with friends in GTA Online. Use PlayStation Join Friends slash Party instead of in-game menus. They said, we are aware of a temporary issue affecting some players when trying to invite or play GTA Online with a party of friends using in-game menus. Please use PlayStation's Join Friends slash Party system instead of in-game menus as a workaround while we can work to resolve the issue. For further support, please visit our support team at Rockstar Support on Twitter or at support.rockstargames.com. So that's the alert message right there. And honestly, I have never seen anything like that before. So that was quite interesting. So it looks like players are getting a lot of weird error messages. If you just go on like Rockstar's support forum site right now, or you just go to their support Twitter account and look at some of the replies, you will see that there is a handful of players running into this exact same issue. So I don't know when this came about, but it looks like roughly over the last 24 hours, a lot of players have obviously started to notice this problem. And also, this is probably why Rockstar put in this splash screen so that players would be alerted to the issue. Now, when Rockstar says they're going to fix it, I'm assuming this means they're going to be able to fix it without having to put out like a new DLC. This is something they'll just be able to do via a background update or a patch. Now, we don't know how long that's going to take. Obviously, right now we are in the middle of the holiday season, obviously just past Christmas. We're about to get to New Year, so who knows how many Rockstar employees are actually working right now and how many would be able to potentially fix this. So it might not be an immediate resolution it might be something that we don't see end up fixed until 2021. Hopefully that's not the case because obviously playing with friends is a big part of the Cayo Perico heist. Now, you can obviously do it solo if you want, but you would assume new people getting the game, people getting on the game for the first time in a minute, the ability to invite friends is probably a big feature. So this is not all that great that this is one of the things that ended up getting removed or is currently broken right now and just doesn't work at all. I mean, there's a workaround for it, but that doesn't sound as convenient as using the in-game menus. Now, speaking of the holiday season, I actually logged into Grand Theft Auto Online today fully expecting the snow to be gone because traditionally, that's what sort of happens in Grand Theft Auto Online. You have snow the day or two before and after Christmas. It goes away for a day or two and then comes back for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Well, it looks like Rockstar is just saying, you know what, Snowfall, you guys can stay here for as long as you want because we're not going to be removing it. Because if you log on today, even though it is a couple of days after Christmas and we're still days away from New Year's, Rockstar still have the snow in GTA Online. Like, it's still here. Now, the festive surprise content is still all here. That is no surprise, and I don't expect that to go away probably until the first week or so of January into the new year, 2021. But the fact that the snow is still here, that is something we haven't seen before. And some people are either going to love this, some people are going to hate it, because the snow affects everything you do in free roam sessions. So your businesses, like if you do import-export, gun running, uh, the biker business, it's not like the snow disappears when you start that. Or if you're just not a fan of snow weather at all, you might be pretty frustrated with this because there's no way to take it away. Now, at the end of the day, it's like five to six days out of 365 that have snow, and it's Rockstar's fun way of celebrating the holidays, but it is still here. And remember, the only Newswire post that we've received so far is that the holidays have arrived and that at least for now, they're going to be going until December 30th. Now, I think there's a chance the holidays will still continue for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and about a week or so into 2021, but at least for now, you've still got a couple of days left at a minimum of the snow, because if Rockstar haven't removed the snow now, there's no chance that they're going to end up removing it uh, right before New Year's. They're just going to keep it because that's what they've done in the past. 
This time, it's just a little bit different. Now, one thing I didn't even realize that Rockstar had going on in Grand Theft Auto Online until I actually looked at the events page was this, and that is two times money in RP on the in and out adversary mode. So again, if you go to the events page on Rockstar's website, you'll see that at the very bottom of all the Grand Theft Auto Online stuff, it actually started on December 15th, the first day the Cayo Perico heist, and is also going when all the other bonuses expire on December 30th. I don't know. That just seems so random. It's like Rockstar needed at least one like double money and RP opportunity going on this week. I don't know about you guys. I had no idea this was even a thing, but I can guarantee you that absolutely no one is probably doing this. They're probably just busy with the Cayo Perico heist or the free roam DJ missions or just doing something else, enjoying the festive surprise content. Just seems like no one would ever even think to end up doing that. So that right there is definitely a little bit strange. Now what's weird is other than the in-game splash screen that we've seen from Rockstar, there haven't been any other mention from this on Rockstar's main Twitter account, on PlayStation's Twitter account or social media, and on Rockstar support. So it seems strange that that's the only way you're made alert of it is a like splash screen. And I don't know about you guys, but probably no one even pays attention to them for the most part. Like when you're loading in, you might be doing something else like, you know, looking at your phone or listening to music or you might run into the other room and do something really quickly. So it almost like doesn't even make sense for it to just be on that. So that alone is kind of strange. And I even wanted to see if it would be available the next day. So now I'm actually recording this video on Monday, December 28th. And sure enough, the exact same alert is still there. So it looks like this has not been fixed instantaneously or overnight and that this is something Rockstar may have to take a couple of days in order to ultimately solve. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this weird issue for PlayStation players in Grand Theft Auto Online. And what do you think is going to happen with the rest of the festive surprise content? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. Would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Cayo Perico heist and festive surprise videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.